Greetings, everybody. Larry Baronis here from Fort Worth, Texas. Today, I'd like to do a, a review on a brand new fountain pen. That's a fountain pen plus a felt tip. One that you can actually use fountain pen ink and cartridges. It does come with a converter or you'll have to either order one. Um, the name of the company is? Euchers. Yes. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the company first. And then I'll go into the pens. Uh, the lady's name that I've been talking with is Loretta. So Loretta, thank you very much for helping me to get this video on my channel. First of all, I have been writing with the brush pen for quite some time now. I want to make sure that it's going to be what I hoped it would be, and it has. And I do sometimes longer writing sessions than others because I just definitely want to make sure that I, g I can give the best possible honest review I can about any fountain pen or any product I do on my channel. So, first of all, I was totally impressed. I'm a fountain pen guy, right? That's who I am. That's what I am. That's where my heart is. But this brush pen with a felt tip, it opened my eyes and told me, Larry, I'm a worthy opponent. A really nice brush tip pen. Come in various sizes as well. So it's got a lot going for it. So, okay. It comes with a cartridge. You can get a converter for it. And it comes in, I, I believe, and I'll go over them again later. <coughs> Excuse me, four different size tips. So I will go, go over that. I will show you how to clean the tips out. And how long does a felt tip last? Well, Loretta has been using hers for two years. Depending, depending on the amount of pressure applied to the tip will determine how long it'll last. It doesn't take a heavy hand for uh, you to lay down the ink. It's a nice, smooth, wet, comfortable tip. So, um, these came from, I believe, Hong Kong. And uh, the inks that the, I do have that I will be showing as well are, are comfortable with other leading inks like Monteverdi, Diamine, Noodlers, Pelican, uh, Pilot, uh, but then along those lines, they're, they're uh, I was told that the inks are a quality ink, a good ink. And uh, there is a certain ink that I will be talking about later that is erasable, and I will get into that at a later in the review. So remember, I've been talking about the brown brushed felt tip pen. They have the, the adult they call, and they have belongs also to the youth range, which has a cheaper lower end body, but the same writing system as the adult does. And you, you can choose again your tip sizes from 
0 0.8, 1.0, 1 1.2, 0 1 and a whopping 1.4. So you have extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. That's pretty cool. Again, let me say again that the tips usually Well, that depends on the user and the amount of pressure used. Oh, well, she's been using hers for about two years, so it could last two years plus. That's pretty cool. And they do have the replaceable tips as well, and they are affordable. So, when I go into the review, I will be talking about these dots. The high ends and the low ends. And here is the youth, the low end, but still a very nice pin. And these even are the higher ends. Really nice colors. I will be giving the measurements, the specifications of these pens. I will also be showing you how to clean out the tip so you can use different inks. And here are a couple of the converters. And even here is a pen sleeve as well. So I've got a lot of nice things to go over and talk about. And like I said, I'm going to cover each one. I'll talk about the prices. I will talk about each nib. I will demonstrate each nib. I will show how I clean out the tips. I'll give you the prices of the pins from the low end to the high end. I will show you each ink. So, got a lot of fun things coming up here. So, with that said, we'll get right to it. All right, folks. Let me read to you some very interesting information about these pens. And I'm going to be mentioning some model numbers. And then later in the video, I will be showing you that model number that I spoke of earlier. So, I ask questions so I can relay that information to all my viewers, which is very important. So, I ask about the materials used, and Loretta kindly responded. Resin, and the models 549, 591, and aluminum for the 751. That's for the youth range. Again, this is the youth right here range and then you have brass and lacquer finish on most models of the yokers 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 i'll get that right one day right now here's the important more important information that i want to get out and make a point of this as well the tips come from japan and I will bring out a few right now. Tips I have, and I'm going to open it up here in a second. So once again, the the youth model, as I was saying, is this one right here, which I will show mo uh, more clearly throughout the video review that I'm doing. Uh, and the youth range, you know, Again, brass, and there's lacquer finish on most models of the Euchres. Now, the important part are the tips. 
Tips come from Japan. Their assemble, assembly of the section is made in Taiwan. And then the rest is assembled in China. Now Loretta, she lives in Hong Kong for 22 years. And that's where she met all the partners that put this together. They all came together and they formed this company, Euchers, and they came up with these felt fountain pen tips. Uh, and she says she went back to France for six years. Six years ago is when she went back to France. And she takes care of all her customers from there now. So she's in France and she takes care of all her customers there in France. So that's interesting. I like to pass that kind of information on to give some history about whatever I'm reviewing. So, um, a more affordable out of the bunch is uh, would be the youth model but just because it's a lower end doesn't mean that it's poorly made because it's really right up there with the other ones it just is not as well groomed or it may not have all the bells and whistles as the other three. All right, so let me go with some of the nibs. We'll start with this one on this beautiful brush pen. as the 1.4 and that would be your broad and let's just look at these because this is how they come in these little tubes then you have your 1.0 you have a 0 0.8 so extra fine fine and then the medium would be the 1.2 so, again, you have extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. And they come in these little plastic sleeves. So now, let me go into her website, and it's going to be right up here on the screen, so you can see the website for yourself, and you can find everything I'm talking about listed on the website. We'll start with this pen first. Take it out of the sleeve. This is the most classical of all the vintage 50s lines of the Mentis. M-E-T-I-S. Gray brush lacquer with a shiny chrome part as you see in here. Got a twist cap, and this one has the 1.0 nib in it. Now the color is a gray brush, shiny chrome plating, as you see on the clip and on the band. And it has the name Yokers. Yokers or Yokers. I said that right. Yay. Right there. It really nicely engraved in there. So nice job on that as well. And if you go up to the finial, you'll see the more chrome going to the top. And at the very top here, 
It's just got a circle. A very unique style, I think. It, it looks pretty interesting. The whole concept of this pen looks very interesting. It, and then the texture of this pen as well. When, when, you, when you feel and touch and just rub your fingers up and down this pen, you, you'll feel that in your hand. And then you go down to the barrel, to the end of the barrel, and it kind of tapers off there. Okay. The ink, uh, I'm sorry, let's go. Uh, it has a felt. Let's go ahead and unscrew it. And we'll post it, and it posts very securely. The felt tips, like I said earlier, available 0 0.8 millimeter, 10, uh, 1 0 0.0 millimeter, 1.2 millimeter, and a 1.4 millimeter. Again, this is the 1.0 millimeter. And it uses short international ink cartridges and ink converters. The let's twist off the barrel first and see what's inside. Right here. It comes with a cartridge, and the color of this ink is called Erasable Blue. And I have found out the information about this ink. It is erasable. And I will explain more how this came to be, but I'll say this. You have to use a Pelican eraser. That's interesting. And I'll leave it at that for now. And on we go. And we'll put the cap back on. So it is a beautiful pen. Uh, weighs 33 grams. The le uh, length of the pen is 15.3 centimeters and uh, closed length would be 12.9 centimeters. Alright, the next one we have the Elios and uh, that is spelled E L I O S. The modern Elios, which it has a short cap, but a beautiful, elegant body to match the cap as well. Now, this cool pen is for all trendy and discerning people. So, all you people out there, if you feel the mustard to that, cool, beautiful pen. Brown, brushed, high, glossy lacquer with gun parts middle. And you know what, what I like about a pen, I like it a nice, high gloss. You know, for me, that makes that pen, the more glossier, you can make a pen look, it just catches my eye. There's there's a big difference between a, a dull and glossy pen. And this is right up there. It, it's just really a beautiful colored pen. And the gunmetal that's on this pen just really goes well together. And as always, you can choose your tip option. So, and again with this, all the tip sizes are available. Felt tips, again I'll say it, 0 0.8 millimeter, 1.0 millimeter, 1.2 millimeter, 1.4 millimeter. And it comes with the cartridge erasable blue so I'm pretty sure all the pens will come with a cartridge with erase, uh, erasable blue and uh, to refill the pen it, 
short international cartridges. So if you have a short international cartridge, you can use those. And an ink converter, which Loretta sent me two of them right here. The cap is a pull-off cap and it has a nice click cap. Are you ready to hear that nice click? Bam! Let's do it again. Nice click. It's The cap is on securely and not going to go off anywhere. Now this pen weighs in at 29 grams. It's and the open length of the pen is 15.3 centimeters. Enclosed, the length is going to be 13.6 centimeters. So again, open length, 15.3 centimeters. And closed, the length is going to be 13.6 centimeters. And uh, this pen runs for $49.50. Okay, the mint is that I forgot to mention the price is $53.50. All righty. And you can get that also in a matte black lacquer. Really beautiful pens. They, they are really some nice looking pens and we'll have a link to the store so you can check out these really beautiful pens. Okay, the next one is called the Eros. A magnetic touch right there. Nice magnet on that. Keep it nice and secure. And again, the body really just feels nice to the touch. The Attractiveness of Eros. Very attractive, beautiful fountain pen. Nice to the touch. And it's a yellow lacquered on vertical lines, as you see here. Shiny chrome parts throughout with that really nice magnet cap. So you got a magnet cap going on here. You got the vertical lines through the cap and the body of the pin and you got a shiny chrome parts with a nice clip. And let's just put that on here for right now. See how it clips on. Yeah. I'm wearing regular t-shirts so forgive me. Now the clip is a little tight on this, so it's kind of hard to get it on the shirt. Maybe the thickness of the collar of the shirt. So that is the only thing I see on this pin. It's really tight. But once you get the pin on, it's going to be secure. So, and again, as always, the same felt tip sizes are available for these pens. Same kind of ink cartridges in the pens. Again, short international ink cartridges and converters. Magnetic cap, brass, 32 grams this pen weighs in. It's a nice size, nice weight. And the open length is 15.4 centimeters. Close the length is going to be 13.3 centimeters. So. And then last but not least. This is going to be the youth one I've been talking about. Did I say how much for that pen? No. Well, I think I better give him a prize. 
for for this pen it's forty seven fifty. So now let's go into the youth range. That will be interesting. Okay, I'm going to give you the price off the bat. Let me take it out of the sleeve. Put that aside. And this is the 549 Ocean, Ocean Blue Resin Felt Tip Pen. It has yogurt on the cap as well. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, hardware on it. Just a clip. Now let's see how this one acts up here to the shirt. And they, there you go for that one. Okay. And it could be the thickness of my shirt. But this one seems to be has a more play in the clip, which is a good thing, it's not as tight. So easier off and on access to that. So beautiful color, it really is. A nice beautiful pen. Twelve dollars for this pen. The Ocean Blue is a resin cap and barrel. And as you go down the barrel, it kind of tapers off at the end. And at the very top of the finial, it just has a little silver dot or ring right there on top. It's shiny, looks nice. With that middle clip. And uh, the uh, plastic section is ergonomically designed. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. And delivered in bulk. Interesting. Okay. So let's pull off the cap. And I do like this grip on there. And it has rings around the grip. One, two, three, four rings. Nice size grip. And I'm thinking these little rings you see on the grip to are not just for looks, maybe. Maybe not, but to help keep your fingers more in place. Really a nice pen. Nice looking. I'm impressed with the color. Nice color. I, I'll have to say that over again. The type of refill for this pen is the International Ink Cartridge. Resin, chrome, metal clips. The weight of this pen is 15 grams, so it's a light pen. And open length is going to be 15.4 centimeters, and closed length is going to be 13.4 centimeters. Nice size pen. I like it. I like the size of it. It's not so long. And you can post it, let's see. And it doesn't post all that well. But... I have small hands, but this should be able to accommodate large hands. It fits really nice in the hand. So let's try this again. It could be me. And it does post. You have to kind of push it on there a little bit harder. But it will post. And it comes in various colors as well. Let me see if I can put up the colors for you real quick, my friends. Yes, I can. It's got a scarlet red. Beautiful color. And it comes also with a white resin. Black lacquered felt tip. Now, the black lacquered one is a little bit more bucks. $19. 
and the white lacquer is nineteen dollars. So we got a whole lot going on here. Then it goes it breaks down to the different numbers like the black lacquer is five ninety one. The white lacquer is five ninety one. That's the numbers they go by. And they have that real beautiful they have one in a brush light orange as well. Number five number seven fifty one for seventeen dollars. And number seven fifty one it has an imperial red for seventeen. And it goes down to more colors. They have a blue in there, uh, a beautiful blue still, number 751. Uh, let me see that number for 17. And then, and then they have a white pearl lacquered one for $17. So, you know, they've got a little bit of of a variety of prices. So. You can go from this lighter weight to a, a nicer lacquer one, probably, for a few bucks more. So, next, what I'm going to be doing is inking up some of these pens and writing with them. I'll show you all the different tip sizes. I'll show you how to clean out that tip as well. Let's go ahead and look at accessories. The bottle of inks are six dollars and ninety cents. That's a good price for how many mil? Let's see here. 30 mil bottle and they are glass and your nib section for the 549 and 591 model sections the tips are five dollars and if you're interested in their cartridges they're two dollars and twenty cents and you get six in a box. And they do come with one that uh, for $2.60 it have assorted colors in it. But the other two that I mentioned are $2.20. And they have a real nice cobalt blue that really would look nice with that uh, youth one I just showed you. Yeah, I, I am a sucker for blue. Now, f the prices are going to change for the sections of the tips, like the 751s there. The tip sizes are $7. The converters for the pen is $3.30. So... I will give you the site, again I'll say that, I'll repeat myself, so you can look at the pen and then you can see the tip sizes, what will fit and what will not fit. comes in this plastic sleeve, genuine leather sleeve, which runs $15. So let's get one of these little jewels and put this in the sleeve. Feels nice to the touch. No problems with the sleeve. In and out access is fine. For some people who like to 
put their clip over, that may be a problem because it's not, it's a, not a thick sleeve. So the best way though, keep it safe. It's all in the sleeve. It's not going to get scratched up, banged up. It'll be safe in your sleeve so you can enjoy this felt fountain pen for years to come. You know, for me, this is really fun and interesting to break everything down to try to give you as much information as I can. Real quick for for the Mentis section that's that shiny chrome finish their tips are $17 so you know again let me reiterate what I said previously at the beginning of the video how long would these felt pip tips last well Loretta has been using hers for going on two years and she tells me it depends on the amount of pressure one applies to the tip to paper it doesn't take a lot of pressure when you're using these pens and I will demonstrate that in a writing sample so our next step we're going to be filling up some pens and then we'll be showing you the different pen colors uh, I'm sorry the different ink colors uh, and see what they match up to other different samples of inks that I have so, a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Okay, folks, now we're going to get into some of the ink colors that Yokers provides. Is that correct? Yokers? Okay. So, I have three, six different colors, and they have eight total, and they come with bottle ink, which is the glass bottle, or the cartridges okay so let's take a look first at the Tahitian blue by Euclid it's really a nice looking blue I mean it's it's on the money I think one of my favorite colors and you know I was really impressed with the blue nice it's got a nice tone to it so I pull out some uh, other blue inks that I have that are similar to this, close to it, or in the family. Private Reserve Daphne Blue. And first here, just a little dot. I should have had more, I know, but I did this back in the year 2017, so, but that looks pretty close to it. Pelican Turquoise. A Pelican Turquoise, kind of, but not really, but in there some, you know, in the family. Diamine turquoise. Now here's another one. Kyanite de Nepal from Jagarban. From Jagarban. We'll put it this way. That's a little bit darker, but all kind of in that family range. To give you a working idea of this ink. Okay? Nice ink. Really nice ink. Okay. So we're going to set that aside. And the next one we're going to be talking about is the lilac purple. Here's a real nice purple. You know, purple is another of my favorite colors. This is pretty purple. Okay, Mont Blanc lavender purple. So here's one that I found looking. The Mont Blanc lavender purple. It's a di bit deeper color than this but it's one of the few I had. This is Pilot Hiroshizuku Yamabudo. And the Yamabudo is a little bit darker, almost close to him, but not quite. But this is really all I had to even get close to this lilac purple, but this is a beautiful lilac purple on its own. Okay. Next, 
we're going to have the ruby red. For this one, we have Mont Blanc James Dean Rebel Red. Okay. Similar. And Noodler's Habanero. Noodler's Baby, yes. So, they're kind of close to match. They're kind of like a red-orange kind of color. What do you think, Mr. Nunn? Yeah, that, that habanero is just almost exact. Yeah, this is really close. But just to give you an idea of what that looked like. Been a lot of work to go through all this process to, to break everything down for everybody to try to get everybody a, an understanding of what Yokers has going on. They, because they got a lot going on. And I needed to break it down because I think they deserve that. A lot of work went into this review, so here we go with another beautiful Link by Yokers is a cobalt blue, beautiful blue. Okay, here is Calle Real. Calle Real, okay. And Monteverde Super Show Blue. Monteverde, a good ink as well, Super Show Blue. And those, that's the best I could do to get, to get close to this cobalt. Really nice color blue. Great job on that ink color. I like it. Now here's one. It is the erasable blue. And for that one we have Saint Dupont Royal Blue. Okay. And Lamy Blue. And here is the Lamy Blue about as close as I can get to it. And then to end the show, I will go back to this erasable blue and talk about why they named it erasable blue. All right, now we're going to go to my last one. I have the machete green. And to match this one, we have Papier plume green. Nice color machete green. All right. Franklin Kristoff, Emerald 357. All right. And Lamy Peridot. All right, just to try to get something in there to show you the different variation, the shades of this color. This was the closest I could get to that. Okay. And the other two colors that I don't have is an onyx black and an apricot orange. But, you know, you can go to their website and you can find these inks that I've mentioned. Next step we're going to do, we're going to clean a felt tip nib. So, let's get ready. And what I've done ahead of time to save time is here's the cartridge that was in it. Make sure all the water, and I washed it out good. Because we'll fill it up after a while. But right now we're going to clean this one out. Just like you do a fountain pen. Nice and clean. This is how I do it. So this little jewel is ready to go. Let me set this aside. I'll knock it down. And let me just draw off the felt tip here. I think what we can do, this is the broad nib, the 1.4. Why don't we go ahead and fill it with some cool ink from Yoker. Am I saying that right, Mr. Yoker's. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm never going to get names right. Never, ever. Oh, well, Yoker's. I apologize, but so be it. 
it is what it is. So what color should we go? Uh, should we go with what? Uh, a purple, a cobalt, a machete green, a ruby red? What would you think, Tahitian blue? What? Try the green. Try the green. We're going to go with the machete green here. And there's no need for me to fill it all the way up. There we go. Let that go in there. I remember I just washed this out, so that felt tip is still kind of wet. But there it comes. There it comes, yeah. So, fountain pen. Let's back that up. They're felt tip slash fountain pen. Got it? Like, this is a fountain pen. But it also is a felt tip on it that also uses either a cartridge or a converter. All right, so, before I get to the last step of the review, let me mention this real quick. All Euchre's pens are, are converter capabilities except for the 751s. They are not. They are just cartridge. Okay. So, anyway. I'll be doing some writing samples. And uh, I'll be doing some comparisons uh, with some other felt tip pens I have. And to show you the difference, but uh, this uh, has probably been my <sighs> more in-depth review I've done of any fountain pen yet. Because why? There was so much going on with, with this one pen that Loretta was kind enough to send me enough to for me to show to all you guys out there of what all she carried. So, so this is why it took quite a bit to put it all together. It was a lot of fun for me, a lot of work as well, but it had some enjoyment out of it because I got to play around with some really cool stuff. Now, is it right, Euchre's? Euchre's? Euchre's. Euchre, Euchre, Euchre. Euchre is a serious fountain pen. For all you pen enthusiasts out there, I know I can hear you. I don't want to hear it. Ah, felt tip pen. I'm the same way. But Euchre's, they kicked it. They put some work into this pen. That made it come alive. That made it real. That made it feel and look like a real fountain pen. So, let me tell you, for all you artists out there, you'll love this pen. It'll kick it. Because you got different size tips of nibs from extra fine, fine, medium to broad. And just you regular fountain pen users, same for you. If you want a lower end pen from $12 to $17, they have it. If you want a higher end pen from $42 up to the $50s, they got it. But they all write the same. 
And is there any limitation to the type of fountain pen ink that they can use? None. Now, uh, their ink that they sell as well is for fountain pen ink as well. I use it in my pens. So, and I've used Diamine in these pens and Monteverde ink in them. So, I've, I've done the, all the experiments with it. I've done everything. I know how to put it all together and to make sure that what I'm telling you is on the real side these pens can interact with other inks and the inks that they sell can interact with your pens as well I do it on my Mont Blancs, my Pelicans my beautiful Delta my uh, Heinz, you name it so enough said let's get to the writing but first we're going to get to the converter and we're going to fill some of these babies up so here we go and they do come with a cartridge like I said and this one I'm thinking is a different shade but I don't know it doesn't have it on there but uh oh well not worried about that anyway because I'm not using that so here we go it wouldn't hurt if I put some ink in it yeah they do have some orange but I didn't get any orange ink so uh I should have, but I didn't ask for it. So, anyway. Because there's a... That should be enough what I need to. Drop a little bit out. Okay. This should be enough ink. And this is the... 1.2 nib so let's get these little jewels ready now these are the big guys you're seeing the more top end and this one I believe I know this one this one has the erasable blue ink and I'll get to that in a minute And remember, you can always fill the converters up. If you can't get enough ink in there with the converter by using your syringe. Put your little needle in there. Draw up your ink. Put your converter. Bam, you're good to go. You know, it has been an honor for me to do a review on these pens because they're 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 just quality pens really so last but not least here is the euchre youth pen the the uh this is the the lower level of all of them right here this is a this comes with a pull off cap and this is the 0 0.8 extra fine tip so what I'm going to do I am going to put a I want to use this ink as well because I'm actually out of converters I think about that There we go. And you see where the, I don't know if you can see it, but the tip was white now. It's already inked up. Good to go. I did a little, I always squeeze a converter. You might see the little bubble come <coughs> out from under here. But all is good. 
So, here we go, writing time. And we're going to start off with the brush pen. And, uh, what do I have in this one? Let me get this one out. Already written with the ruby red. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now. Here we go. Here is the yogurts. Okay. This is the Elios, I believe how you pronounce it. If not, I'm sorry for butchering it. And this has the tip. It's a 1.4. And that's a broad nib. And the ink in it. Yoker. Machete Green. That's wet. That's what I call wet. Some people have called that not so wet. I I have to call it wet. And the price of this one is Alright, now, now we have the big boys on board. Post very well. The Mentis. And this tip is a 1.0. So. This is going to be a fine tip. And we'll check for witness here. Nice wit. And I'm going to use some Tahitian blue. Yogurts. Well, let's do this. They do have a very nice line of ink, in my opinion. And uh, the price for this one. Fifty-three, fifty. All right. Okay. Then you got this other beautiful here, the yellow lacquered on vertical lines, and the name is pronouncer is Eros. Eros, and this is a magnetic closure cap. Nice magnetic to it, and. We'll go ahead and post it. Okay. Okay. And this tip is a 1.2. Let's see. Zero, zero, medium, nib, or tip rather. 
and this one is only forty-seven fifty. Not a bad price at all. So the ink I'm using is the lilac purple. Beautiful purple. It really is, folks. And if you purple people leaders out there that love purple, this is bad stuff to the bone good. Okay. Do a little wet on this one. Nice and wet. That's what I like on a, my pen. Wetness in it. And so we've done this one, right? Yes. Last but not least, let's go ahead and bring the more affordable baby out here. Let me, if you don't mind, just pull something up real quick. And here we go. <clears throat> this is the Yokers. 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 549 the ocean blue resin with the felt tip pen for only 12 bucks All the tips are all quality tips. This is a nice pen. It really is And this is the ink that I didn't get as well and this is the onyx black I believe And I'm just going to put the number down just for the heck of it. And this one is a 0 0.8, which is a extra fine so we've had a fine extra fine and we've had the medium and we've had the broad okay and this is only 12 bucks that is a definite winner right there just bam of course Really, a really beautiful Rogers. All of the four pins I have. Loretta, if you want to send me some that I haven't covered, please send them. I love what you've got on your website. And the felt, I mean, the uh, fine nib is not as wet, but that's okay. A lot, a majority of our fine nibs on fountain pens aren't wet as all. It's not a dry nib by no means. Nice, smooth writer. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> we're getting close to the end. Here I have the Papermate Flare with a medium nib. And this is a paper made. A really a nice pen. I really like paper made. This is a medium tip. I've had this for years. Haven't used it all that much, but still works just fine. Now let me find my medium. That's going to be on the purple. Like it. Okay, look a little. Was it this one? 1.2 is the medium. And this is the yellow I forgot to put on there as well. The yellow lacquered on vertical lines. Uh, here is the euchre. 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 Mm -hmm. And there's their line. And there's your cross line. I'm 
Okay, let's see what I have over here. Okay, I have a Japanese Tumbo. I didn't really... Oh, magnet. <laughs> this is the Ukers also. Uh, yellow marker. Okay. All right. We'll go with the tombow next. This is a fine tip. I'm correct. Do 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 no, no pressure. This is the Tom Motio. It's a nice rider as well. But, you know, it could also work out as a broad on that cross stroke. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let me check something out for the record here. Now you got the same width going on with these pins. That's cool. All right. And this is the yogurt. There's a really some cool fountain pen. Cool fountain pen tip pen. Nice felt tip pens. I, really, I'm, I'm impressed. And uh, I have dealt with a lot of high-end, medium, low-end fountain pens. And this should... I'm telling you, if you're a fountain pen enthusiast, you should have one of these in your collection. Uh, whichever one you want. Or maybe get one of each. And uh, so let's do this one here. And this is boom. Okay. Because this one, like I said, is the 1.0. I'm just going to write that down. That's the fine nib. Because I'm going to be matching that up with this one right here. It's a Echo Zebrite, Zebrite highlighter, but it has a fine nib on the end. So let's do it. Now this is a little bit different. Don't freak out on me, but it's a pretty cool pen. This is the Echo ECO. Okay. Sorry, I'm just playing around with the pins. So, and let me bring out the the bad boy, the biggest. And this is the broad nib. And that is the 1.4, isn't it? Let me see. Yep. Now, my last thing I like to do for you guys, I hope you're with me all the way. I want to do a writing sample on each pen. 
you know, uh, I always try to do a writing sample, and I put a lot of work in this uh, particular uh, review that I'm really so proud of because it was well worth the time, and the effort, and the work that I put into it. I am really impressed with Loretta's new line. I think they came out maybe last year, but I just caught wind of it this year, but I believe they were out in 2019. So, if any of these pins appeal to you, let Loretta know. Just go to the website and say you heard it from Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. I'm not getting anything for it. Just get the word out that I've got the word out and you like what you saw. So, we're going to start the baby off with the And would you do it on a clean sheet just because I have the paper? What do you say? Okay, here we go. This is the youth. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This is the 549. But you can go to the website and you can find all these and more. And they have some great deals for bundles. Uh, you can buy a whole lot more at a lower value, and that's pretty good. Ocean Blue Resin. And remember, this is the extra fine tip with Onyx. Uh, Onyx Black, I believe I said, right? Okay. No problems with the ink flow. None or whatsoever. Alright, then we're going to go with the 1.2, I believe, is going to be the medium. And I'm just going to write the name down. This is the yellow. Lacquer. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I have to create this video. It's pretty cool. And this one has the 1.2 medium tip. Really nice, wet, and juicy. All right. And later on in the week or next month, I'll be doing the fail tip, tip versus the fountain pen. And so you want to keep your eyes and ears open for that. The 1.0. Okay, this is going to be the extra fine, fine. This is the extra fine. And we're right here on the... Metis, I believe. Fine tip. It's not dry, it's not super wet, but it's monofique.
beautiful riders. They really are. They really are just a magnificent felt tip fountain pen. Last but not least, the big gun, the broad baby comes in. One of my favorite, well, they're all my favorites, so it would be hard for me to tell you which one I like the most, which color I like the most, because all four of them are utterly fantastic riders. So now we're going to go with this one, the last one, so I'll do the whole nine yards. This is a 1.4 tip, which is a broad. Okay, cool. I'll be good with that. Let's check the wetness. It's going to be juicy wet. Oh, that's a G. Getting close to wrapping it up. So, a quick refresher of Uyghurs. They've got inks. And how much other inks, I'm sure. You're going to ask again, I've already said it, I believe, in the video, but uh, I think I better just mention it one more time. I love their inks, I really do. $6.90. And I'll let Mr. Announcer mention all of them, because they do come with cartridges too, so mention bottles and cartridges. Okay, you can get a six-pack of uh, international cartridges of amethyst violet or of apricot orange. Or you can get a six-pack of assorted colors. It doesn't name them, but there's uh, red, orange, cyan, black, and maybe a brown. How much are they, the cartridges? Uh, those are two sixty dollars for that. Are they all two, the same price? Two twenty dollars for the single colors, two sixty dollars for the multicolor. Okay. Alright, thank you, sir. And, let's see what else. I don't want to miss out anything. So, and here's a few more to go over, Mr. Announcer. Get you involved in this. Okay, Cobalt Blue. How much? Uh, one ninety for the cart six cartridges. Okay. Lilac purple two twenty for six cartridges. Malachite green uh, two twenty for six cartridges. Is that malachite or have I been saying what machete? Oh, that no, that's malachite. Uh, it's malachite, not machete. So correct me. That I've been saying machete, haven't I? I think so. Yes. I don't know why I've been saying machete. I stand corrected. That's malachite, right? Yes. So remember, when you hear machete, wrong. Eh, Malachi. My fault. Next. Uh, Onyx Black for 190, six cartridges. Ruby Red, six cartridges for 220. Tahitian Blue, six cartridges for 220. Beautiful inks. Really gorgeous inks. Uh, and they have converters for, why don't you go ahead and finish it out. Okay, a uh, converter is three thirty. Mm -hmm. um, then we have the uh, tip tips. sizes, mm -hmm. four different tip sizes. They were seventeen a piece uh, for the core. It's called the chorus section. Then they have the Elios section, seventeen a piece for those uh, nibs tips. Then they have the Eros section. Uh, 17 a piece for those. 
Alright, well let's just give you a quick rundown. And last but not least, they have this beautiful sleeve as well. Genuine leather for only 15 bucks. And it holds all the pins well. And it has the Yoker's uh, symbol logo right there as well. Excellent. Nice uh, sleeve. So, got a lot going on here. This is what's going on, my friends. Well, let me know your thoughts about it. What do you think about these Yoker's felt tip fountain pens? Or you can use fountain pen ink that acts just like a fountain pen, but you have a felt tip. You can use their brand of inks, which I highly recommend. Really some great looking ink colors. They've got what, four different size of nip sizes. They've got buku different colors and uh, designs on their pins. Anything else I'm missing? Let's see. Uh, you can also get cartridges as well. And you can use those in fountain pens that you already have. Plus this ink here. So, they got it going on. Uh, if you haven't heard of, about them like I have never heard about them, you need to check out the website. And Mr. Announcer will put the website, the link on the description box below. And uh, you can check it out on your own accord. And uh, leave your comments below. Tell me your honest thoughts about it. You are a fountain pen enthusiast. Am I not correct? Or we wouldn't be here together embracing fountain pens. You do love inks, correct? Or we wouldn't be here enjoying the lovely inks that we all share among us. Also, we all like different size of nibs. These are tips. You've seen how they write. You've seen how they lay down the ink. I showed you how to wash them out. I showed you how to fill them. One quick thing. After you wash the felt tip out, you need to let it dry pretty good. So that ink can get into that felt tip. But other than that, that's the only thing uh, I found. Uh, I had a great time doing this video. Uh, and I guess I'm going to say that's it. Again, Loretta, thank you so much for thinking about me and helping me so I can do more of these kind of reviews in depth, but I actually love your pens, Loretta. And I approve this message. Great work, great job, keep it up. Keep me in mind, Loretta, when you have some new things come out. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me today. It was dynamite, baby. We rocked and rolled it. We, like, we shot it to the moon and back. Take care, and remember my friends, don't text and drive. So, I'm going to hang it up and say, bye.